Hello, my name is Fernando Florido and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick review of the NICE guidelines on hypertension and we're going to do it by going through the hypertension flowcharts. You can access them in the description below. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. Right, so this is the first chart that we're going to do. And as we can see, this is the one that deals with the diagnosis and treatment of hypertension in adults. First thing it says, so we have to offer lifestyle advice and continue to offer it periodically. We look at the clinic blood pressure, and if it's okay, that's it, that is under 140 over 90, then we will just check it every five years, and more often if it's close to the limit. If it is high, that is 140 or 90 or above, but below 180 over 120, then we will have to offer ambulatory home blood pressure monitoring and we will assess target organ damage and cardiovascular risk. If the blood pressure is very high, that is 180 over 120 or more, the first thing to do would be to see whether it's an emergency and whether we need to refer for same day specialist review. And we will do so if there is retinal hemorrhage or papilledema, thus accelerate hypertension, or there are life-threatening symptoms or suspected fear chromocytoma. If none of the symptoms are present, we will then assess for target organ damage as soon as possible. And if there is target organ damage, we will consider starting drug treatment without waiting for further investigations. If there is no target organ damage, we will confirm the diagnosis either by repeating the clinic blood pressure within seven days or doing an ambulatory or home blood pressure monitoring but making sure that it's also done within seven days. Now if we come to the point of having to do the ambulatory or home blood pressure monitoring if it is low that is under 135 over 85 then we will do the same we will check the blood pressure at least every five years and more often if the clinic blood pressure is close to 140 over 90. If there is target organ damage, we will consider alternative causes for it. If the ambulatory home blood pressure reading is high, that is above 135 over 85, but below 150 over 95, that is stage 1 hypertension, then we will treat according to the circumstances. If the age is over 80 and the blood pressure above 150 over 90, then we will consider treatment. If the age is below 80, but there is target organ damage, cardiovascular risk, renal disease, diabetes, or an elevated cardiovascular risk of 10% or more, then we will discuss and consider treatment. If the age is under 40, we will consider specialist evaluation. If the blood pressure is 150 over 95 or more, that is stage 2 hypertension, then we will offer drug treatment. If the person's age is below 40, we will consider specialist evaluation for secondary courses. And then, if we need to treat, we will discuss the preferences with the patient and we will offer annual review and support adherence to treatment. And we will look at the next page for the choice of drug and monitoring and blood pressure targets. And this is the next chart, the next page that we're going to look at, which is the one that looks at the choice of hypertensive drug, monitoring treatment and blood pressure targets. The first thing we do is consider whether the patients have diabetes or not, look at the age and the ethnicity. And we will offer a step one treatment, an ACE inhibitor or an ARB, if the patient has got diabetes or the person is under 55 and not of black African or African Caribbean family origin. Alternatively, we will recommend a calcium channel blocker for people who have aged 55 or over or for black African or African Caribbean family origin of any age. If step one is not enough, we will move to step two, which is used to drugs and we will basically use the alternative treatment. So if the person is on an ACE inhibitor or an ARB, we will offer a calcium channel blocker. And if the person is on a calcium channel blocker, we will offer an ACE inhibitor or an ARB. But we can also consider a thyroid-like diuretic in either case. 
and if step two is not enough, then we will need to give three drugs. That's step three, where we'll give all three, that is an ACE inhibitor on ARB, a calcium channel blocker, and a thyroside like diuretic. If that is not enough, we move to step four, and that's what we call resistant hypertension, but we will have to confirm it with an ambulatory or home blood pressure monitoring, and we'll have to discuss postural hypertension and adherence. And then we could consider a fourth drug. So we could give either a low dose spironolactone if blood potassium level is 4.5 or below, or we will give an alpha blocker or a beta blocker if the blood potassium level is above 4.5. We will seek expert advice if the blood pressure remains uncontrolled. In terms of monitoring, we will use the clinic blood pressure to monitor the treatment. We will measure the standing blood pressure as well for people with type 2 diabetes, people with symptoms of postural hypertension and those aged 80 or over. We will offer a home or ambulatory blood pressure monitoring to those who want it or for those with a white coat effect. In terms of blood pressure target, for those under 80, we will go for a clinic blood pressure of below 140 over 90, or an ambulatory or home blood pressure monitor 5 millimeters of mercury below, that is below 135 over 85. If the person is 80 or over, we will go for a clinic blood pressure 150 over 90, or an ambulatory home blood pressure monitor 5 millimeters of mercury below, that is below 145 over 85. If there's postural hypertension, we will base the target on the standing blood pressure and we will use our clinical judgment in frailty or multimorbidity. We have come to the end of this video. If you have found it useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.